Hi everyone, as you know, like I like to play fighting games and I love fighting games which I mostly uh, play on this channel and like anime fighters and stuff like that. And over the months I've realized I've been getting negative comments, which is fine enough. You get comments, that's okay and kill. But when I get comments that say, your combo suck or like you're not good at this game or all that stuff. And I realized like that's um, there's a reason for that and I'm going to tell you the reason why well first off all I have mild how do I say this right I have mild rheumatoid arthritis which playing games for a long time especially fighting games where you're doing all these combos and all this like combo cancelling into supers and stuff it stiffens my fingers, it hurts, it actually hurts a lot, like an hour of playing fighting games that I start to feel it, uh, my joints begin to ache, they stiffen, uh, it kind of feels like a knife is slicing into them, like when it's really bad, especially like fighting games like Dragon Ball Fighters and you know like these hyper fighting games like Marvel and stuff, so when it's like really long long combos, uh, it does hurt a lot, so I kind of like, that's why I like my footsie based games, I, I like footsie stuff, I like Tekken, I like uh, uh, normal Street Fighter and stuff like that, yeah, uh, and Undernight, so I noticed like people say I suck and yeah, that's the reason why I don't do long combos is because I physically, physically can't do long combos, it literally hurts. Uh, what you're seeing on screen is me doing the best of my ability, is me doing my combos. If I do any more, or put, do any more put on combos, it starts to hurt, my fingers start to ache, and it becomes incredibly painful to the point if I keep doing all these combos constantly, it's going to hurt me and it, it becomes painful. And the reason I still love video games, I still love playing them, and regardless of how much pain I, I am in, I'm still going to play it uh, because I love them, but I'm not going to be at my fullest potential, I'm not going to be the best, I'm not going to be a pro player, I'm not going to be all this kind of uh, awesome cool combos and stuff. Like the combos I do know and the combos that I can do, I am so happy I can do them, I'm proud of myself, I'm good. They might not be the most optimal combos. Don't get me wrong, I'll try and do the optimum combos, I'll try and do the most damaging ones. But like I said, it's difficult. It is something that I don't always do and I'll try and do in a match. And it's about landing the combo as well. If you can hit confirm and land into those combos, that's good enough as well. But yeah, to me it's difficult. It's uh, not an easy thing to admit. I don't like to talk about it. So that's it really so yeah and I, when i see all these negative comments and it's like especially when like people are trolling me it's like get, get over yourself oh my gosh it's like but like i'm used to the negative comments i'm used to stuff but yeah that's what i want to say i just want to say that and you are a complete idiot if you think yeah someone has to be a complete idiot if they think well you could do so much better no it actually hurts uh no i can't uh, you try doing that, you try playing a game and like play an hour or try and do a best out five and by the time you've done a best out five and you won it your fingers are hurting to the point that they're like, aching that much and I feel like someone's just stabbed them like you just had five finger fillet or something like that but yeah it's it really sucks but I enjoy fighting games also my mentality especially in this channel is uh, with online gaming and with now everything everyone looks online they look at combo tutorials they look at all this tech and it wasn't like that when i used to play games like we go to arcades and we go uh, with our friends houses and we learn the combos naturally we never looked it up online we never we used to have this hidden tech and we used to be surprised we surprise ourselves with these new moves and new combos and and we're like, oh wow, like that's a secret technique I've never seen before. Well, I did not know you could do that combo. Wow, what's that move? You gotta teach me it, you know what I mean? And you have all this secret tech you had and you could pass it on and 
make someone else learn that tack. So it was kind of like a teacher, like I am the master and I will teach this person, my Padawan, all the moves that I know and all the tack I know and stuff. And that's why it was kind of cool back then. But now with everything online, everyone's uh, getting better. Everyone's looking at combo videos and all that. It kind of ruins the surprise for me. It really does. Uh, that's why I like playing fighting games to be surprised. And everything you see in my online matches is me learning it on the fly. It's me learning it right there and then. And it's difficult. The losses are more hard hitting and I do lose a lot. But I learn so much and I really enjoy it so much. I, I think it's great. And I, I can't tell you how much exciting it is when I see something like I see a super that I've never seen before and I see a combo so good like well I've never seen a combo before and I'll tell you now like most people online it's like have you learned a combo like from a combo video or did you go into the lab did you went and practice and learned it that's what I want to know did you practice it or did you just watch a combo video and like I said it really feels fun to practice in games and to do a good combo and then to use that combo in an actual match is so good and that's why I like fighting games when I play it that way. That's why I'm not as, that's why you don't see me uh, being like completely great at the game because I feel one, I, I don't want to do that. I, I could do all those skill combos but I'm like that's not what this channel is supposed to be about. It's about me being completely blind and learning new stuff and seeing things in a different way in a very old school mentality and yeah it's it's so much better I uh, guarantee it so I feel so much happier learning fights fighting games that way than than that stuff you know what I mean than just looking at a combo video and or looking at oh all these techniques and it's more surprising Granted though, when I'm stuck at a wall and I'm struggling, yeah, then I, I decide to look up online and see what problems I'm doing or what could I, could make it, make me be better. But yeah, uh, that's the two reasons why I suck at fighting games. Is one, I, I don't look at all its tech or combo videos because I want to learn naturally and organically. And two, I have sucky, stupid arthritis that actually hurts when I have prolonged sessions in gaming, so yeah, and screw the haters, and screw all you haters.